Have you ever heard of the lost city of Atlantis? Well, today we're diving deep into the mystery of this ancient tale. To ask the ultimate question, is the lost city of Atlantis just a myth? Or could it be a reality? So grab your scuba gear and let's explore together. Fact number one, how it started. The story of Atlantis was first mentioned by the Greek philosopher Plato in his dialogues Timaeus and Critias, which were written in the 4th century before Common Era. Let's take a closer look at what Plato had to say about this mythical place. Fact number two, crafted by Poseidon himself. According to Plato, Atlantis was founded by the god Poseidon. Poseidon fell in love with a mortal woman named Clado, and together they had five pairs of male twins. Poseidon decided to create a special dwelling place for his beloved, so he crafted a circular island in the center of the sea. Fact number three, geographical features. The island was surrounded by two rings of water and three rings of land, with a canal connecting the center island to the sea. The island was rich in resources, with mountains, valleys, and hot and cold springs. Fact number four, advanced civilization. According to Plato, Atlantis was a wealthy and prosperous society with an impressive infrastructure and technology. The people of Atlantis were skilled in agriculture, engineering, and arts. They had built an impressive network of canals and irrigation systems that allowed them to grow crops throughout the year. The city was also famous for its architecture, with towering buildings made of precious metals and decorated with intricate carvings. Fact number five, ten kings and their prosperous rule. The civilization was governed by ten rulers who were descended from the god Poseidon and his mortal wife Clado. These rulers were known as the divine kings of Atlantis, each with their own palace and army. The kings would meet every fifth or sixth year to discuss important matters and make decisions for the common good of Atlantis. Fact number six, the fall of Atlantis. According to Plato, the gods became angry with the Atlanteans for their pride and arrogance and decided to punish them by sinking the entire island into the sea. This catastrophic event was said to have occurred in a single day and night, and it caused the disappearance of the great civilization of Atlantis. While some believe Plato's writings to be entirely fictional, others argue that they are based on real events and places. To determine whether Atlantis is real or not, we need to dive deep into the facts and separate them from the fiction. Let's explore other perspectives. Fact number seven, Plato's use of allegory. Some scholars argue that Plato's account of Atlantis was not meant to be taken literally but rather as an allegory for the dangers of human pride and greed. In his dialogues, Plato often used allegory and metaphor to convey his philosophical ideas, and some believe that the story of Atlantis was meant to be interpreted in a similar way. In this interpretation, Atlantis serves as a cautionary tale for the dangers of overreaching and striving for power at the expense of others. Fact number eight, volcanic influences. Some researchers suggest that the story of Atlantis may have been influenced by volcanic events of the time. For example, some believe that Plato's account of Atlantis may have been inspired by the Minoan civilization on the island of Crete, which was destroyed in a volcanic eruption around 16 BC. Fact number nine, mythological parallels. Some researchers have suggested that the story of Atlantis may have been inspired by other mythological tales, such as the biblical story of the flood, or the story of the lost city of Mu in Polynesian mythology. The similarities between these tales suggest that there may be some universal themes at play. Fact number 10, historical accounts of Atlantis. In addition to Plato's writings, there are other historical accounts of a lost civilization that may have been Atlantis. For example, in the third century BC, the ancient Egyptian historian Manetho wrote about a great civilization that existed before the flood. In the fifth century BC, the ancient Greek historian Herodotus wrote about a land beyond the pillars of Hercules that was home to a highly advanced civilization. These accounts suggest that there may have been some truth to the story of Atlantis. I know your time is valuable, and I appreciate you sticking around this long. And if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss a new upload. But don't stop now, there's still so much more to learn about. The mysterious lost city of Atlantis. Let's continue. Fact number 11, theories on the location of Atlantis. There are many theories on where Atlantis was located. Some believe it was in the Mediterranean, while others suggest it was in the Atlantic Ocean. A group thinks the lost city was in the Caribbean, or there are even those who think it was in Antarctica. Some theories suggest that Atlantis was actually a group of islands or a continent that sank beneath the sea. The Canary Islands, the Azores, and the Bahamas have all been suggested as possible locations for Atlantis. Besides these locations, some researchers believe that there is geological evidence to support the existence of Atlantis. So, shall we take a closer peek at these rock-solid clues? Fact number 12, the Canary Islands Theory. The Canary Islands have been suggested as a possible location due to their volcanic nature and the fact that they were once part of a larger landmass. 
The idea that the Canary Islands were once part of a larger landmass that may have included Atlantis is based on theories of plate tectonics and continental drift, which suggest that the Earth's land masses have moved and changed shape over millions of years. Fact number 13, the Eye of the Sahara Theory. The Eye of the Sahara, also known as the Richet Structure, is a large circular geological formation located in the Sahara Desert in Mauritania. While some aspects of Plato's description of Atlantis appear to match the Eye of the Sahara, such as its circular shape and its location near the Atlantic Ocean, there is no archaeological or geological evidence to support the theory that the Eye of the Sahara was once the site of an ancient civilization. Have you heard the latest news? Scientists have uncovered some brand new discoveries that could unlock the secrets of a lost civilization, maybe even Atlantis. It's all very exciting stuff. So, what do you say we dive right in and check out these amazing findings together? Fact number 14, Bimini Road Theory. The Bimini Road is a series of underwater limestone blocks located off the coast of Bimini in the Bahamas. While some researchers and enthusiasts have suggested that the Bimini Road could be the remains of a road or wall from Atlantis. Since then, the site has been the subject of numerous studies and investigations, with many researchers and divers examining the rocks. However, many experts in the fields of archaeology and geology have argued that Bimini Road is a natural feature made of beach rock. Fact number 15, the Yanaguni Monument Theory. The Yanaguni Monument is an underwater rock formation located off the coast of Yanaguni, an island in Japan. The formation was discovered in 1986 by a local diver named Kihakairo Eritake, and since then, it has become the subject of much debate and speculation in the archaeological and geological communities. Some researchers and enthusiasts have suggested that the Yanaguni Monument could be evidence of an ancient civilization, perhaps even the lost city of Mu, which is said to have sunk beneath the Pacific Ocean thousands of years ago. They point to the apparent symmetry and structure of the rock formations, which include steps, terraces, and walls, as evidence of human construction. However, many experts in the fields of archaeology and geology have argued that the Yanaguni Monument is a naturally occurring geological formation created by the erosion and deformation of the rocks over time. They note that similar rock formations can be found in other parts of the world, such as the Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland, and that the apparent symmetry of the Yanaguni Monument could be a result of pareidolia, the human tendency to see patterns and shapes in random objects. Fact number 16, Cuban Underwater City Theory. In the 1960s, a team of researchers led by Russian-Canadian marine engineer Paulina Zelitsky claimed to have discovered evidence of ancient underwater structures off the coast of Cuba. The researchers used sonar equipment to create images of what appeared to be stone walls, roads, and pyramids, leading some to speculate that they had found evidence of an ancient civilization, possibly even Atlantis. However, subsequent investigations by other researchers and organizations, including the National Geographic Society, found that the structures discovered by Zelitsky's team were actually natural formations, such as rock outcroppings and sand waves. The sonar images that had initially appeared to show walls and pyramids were found to be the result of artifacts and distortions in the data caused by the sonar equipment and the topography of the seafloor. Fact number 17, marine archaeology in the Gulf of Cambay. In 2011, a team of Indian oceanographers and marine archaeologists discovered the ruins of an ancient city off the coast of India in the Gulf of Cambay. The underwater city was found to be spread over an area of about 9 square kilometers and was estimated to be about 5,000 years old. The discovery of the sunken city has sparked debate among researchers and historians about its origins and significance. Some have suggested that the city could be the remains of the ancient city of Dwaraka, which is described in Hindu mythology as a city of great wealth and power that was built by Lord Krishna. Fact number 18, pseudoscientific theories. Over the years, numerous pseudoscientific theories about Atlantis have emerged, ranging from the idea that it was an extraterrestrial civilization to the claim that it was actually located in Antarctica. While these theories have little to no evidence to support them, they continue to be popular among some conspiracy theorists. Fact number 19, theories on the destruction of Atlantis. Plato's account of Atlantis suggests that it was destroyed in a single day and night of catastrophic earthquakes and floods. Some theories suggest that the destruction was caused by a volcanic eruption, while others propose that it was destroyed by a meteor impact or a tsunami. Fact number 20, Atlantis in popular culture. The story of Atlantis has had a significant impact on popular culture, appearing in everything from movies and TV shows to books and video games. Some examples include the Disney movie Atlantis, The Lost Empire, and an American animated comedy television series SpongeBob SquarePants. And that, my friends, concludes our exploration of the lost city of Atlantis. We've delved into the history, theories, and evidence surrounding this mythical city. But the question remains, is Atlantis real or just a myth? We may never know for sure. But the search for Atlantis continues to captivate and inspire people around the world. 
What do you think? Do you believe Atlantis was a real place or just a legend? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. Thanks for watching.